I'm Dr. Addie Dove. I am a professor in the physics department at the University of Central Florida, um, and I'm in the planetary science group. So I, I haven't always been a teacher, but I've always been sort of a person who's interested in educating others. Um, when I was younger, I worked at space camp, for instance, and there I got to be a camp counselor, but it was also a lot of educating people about the way things work in space and the way human spaceflight works and things like that. Um, and I've always had sort of a very dynamic approach to teaching and presenting information. And I enjoy giving public talks, um, but I also enjoy delving deeper into, into topics. And so I think I bring a lot of that into my teaching um, because it's important to get people excited about the thing you're teaching as much as you can. Uh, otherwise, it's not going to, and even if it doesn't stick with them long term, it gets them interested in it at the time enough to think a little bit more about it. Um, one of the and one of the interesting things right now is that there's this revolution in the way we teach physics um, that's brought about by a lot of physics education research that shows that just lecturing to students in the typical way does not really uh, stick with most students. It'll, it'll, the people who are going to learn it physics really well might be fine doing it that way, but most students aren't going to learn as much if you do it the traditional lecture style. And fortunately for me, um, sort of the more interactive, dynamic, doing both lecturing and labs and hands-on activities uh, is more my style anyway, and it turns out that that's actually a really good way to teach students. Um, so I really enjoy, I'm teaching a Physics 2 class right now that's for non-physics majors, and I really enjoy um, getting in there with them and saying like, these are the different things that happen and trying to make it a much more integrated experience and not just tell them this is the way things are. And so one of my goals is to just get students to understand the scientific process, um, how science works, and really get an appreciation for um, the different ways that we go about doing science and how that informs us in our everyday lives. So a lot of physics actually uh, relates to everything we see from light to the way like all of our electronics work, um, to the way like sun hits the earth, right? All of that stuff is physics and astronomy. Um, and it's really I think exciting to sort of understand how that works and not just experience it in everyday life, but understand it a little bit more. The biggest piece of advice I have for any students entering physics or coming to physics but maybe not even planning on majoring in physics is ask questions. So the biggest thing we do in science is we ask questions and we try to find the answers to that questions. And usually it turns out that the answers are more questions. Um, but the biggest thing to do is ask questions and really think critically about things. Uh, and so the biggest piece of advice then for like physics majors specifically would be to go into your classes with a, an appreciation for the fact that you're going to be taught these things, but to really think like, why are things working the way they are? Um, because it's asking those additional questions that will challenge you and challenge your professor.